The genetic aggregation model solves the repetitive genetic algorithm to find the best type of response level for each variable or output parameter. In fact, this method selects the best response modes and combines them to produce a mass or density of several response surfaces. Therefore, this model results in achieving the highest quality response level and with different setting for each desired parameter or output variable. The main goal of this model is to achieve the following three main criteria to achieve the best level of response. A genetic algorithm is a special technique for the optimization process. It seeks to find the best values of the input parameters or variables to achieve the best output parameter. This model follows the optimization of a repetitive algorithm. The basis of this algorithm is, de is derived from the biology topic. For example, suppose you decide to turn the people of a city into good people. One way is to identify the good people of the city and separate them from the bad people and then force them to expand their generation with childbearing. In fact, by doing so, you can change their genetics and continue the process to the point where the entire population of the city is made up of good people. Therefore, a cycle can be defined based on the process mentioned. In this way, we first consider the initial population of the city or initialization. Then, we define a function as a criterion for good or bad people of each individual in the society or fitness assignment. Identifying good people from the perspective of these criteria, we select these people as parents who are forced to have children or cross over. But the child born may experience changes in his or her genetics and distance himself or herself from the genetics of his or her parents. It is a mutation and eventually reaches the final conditional stage as a criterion for measuring the appropriate genetics for the end of, you know, continuation of the cycle or stop the criteria. Thus, if we achieve the desired criterion, that means it is true, the cycle will end. And if the desired criterion is not met or false, we will remeasure the good or bad of new generation. And again, we continue the cycle. This figure shows the overall structure of a genetic algorithm in general. It can now be said that the functional principles of the generic genetic aggregation algorithm are used to identify the best response surface based on the general principles of the genetic algorithm mentioned above. In fact, different levels of response or response surfaces can be assumed to be equivalent to the population of a city and the criterion for measuring the quality or optimization of response surface can be considered equal to the criterion for measuring the genes of the people of a city. The following figure shows a genetic density algorithm. This network algorithm consists of seven steps with a conditional constraint which we define step by step in each of these steps in this algorithm. Step 1. Initial population. There are several different levels of the response generated, each with its own set of setting. Step 2. Evaluation. The levels of the response generated should be measured using accuracy criteria by defining the tolerance level, a criterion for measuring production contact level can be measured. Step 3. Selection. 
the quality of each response level is determined using a cross-validation process and a measure of smoothness. Then the best response levels are selected to be um, reproduced in the next step. Step 4. Conditional stage. After completing a complete round and in each repetition stage, if the selected response levels can meet one of the two qualitative needs stated in the third step, or if the number of repetitions uh, reaches its maximum, the algorithm process ends and the final results are presented as optimal. Otherwise, the selected levels will go to the next step in the third step as the best answers and uh, will be reproduced. Step 5. Reproduction. The best levels selected in the previous step along with their own setting are selected as parent genes to cross over with each other and change uh, mutation. Step 6. Crossover. If the parent selected response surfaces are as the same, the setting for each response surface are mixed. However, if the parent selected response surface are different from each other, a linear combination of both parents response levels is generated. Step 7. Mutation. Optional changes are made to the setting of each response surface, just as a genetics. A child born to his parents has a genetic mutation over time. And step 8. New population. In this final stage, new response levels are introduced as a new generation of a city's population which must return to the second step, quality assessment, and continue this cycle. Master CFD experts are ready for DOE analysis, consulting, training, and CFD simulation. To benefit from Master CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at